Hey guys, Bungie just wrapped up their sandbox and crucible balance changes, and uh, I wanted to try and sum up in five minutes what they took an hour and ten to explain. They wanted to talk about revives. Revives have been changed in the Trials of Osiris. They will take a little longer, you'll have to get a little closer, you will not be able to sprint res, and they've added two more seconds to the initial res timer, so it will now take you seven seconds after you first die to be picked up. On top of that, the timer will increase by seven seconds every time you die, so the second time will be 14 seconds, the third time will be 21 seconds, and the overshield you get when you are revived will be weaker. They changed special and heavy. You will now have special ammo on spawn, but it'll take three minutes for the first special ammo bricks to spawn in. As for heavy, heavy will only come once a game at the five minute mark and then never again. They've increased loot drops for the Crucible. Iron banner drops will be heavier. They've changed the loot pool. Instead of getting legendary engrams from iron banner post game rewards, you will only get iron banner drops. Weapon changes. First up, auto rifles. The high rate of fire and low impact class, which is Doctrine and Arminius D, are getting a slight nerf to impact. Meanwhile, the low rate of fire and high impact class, like Suros, is getting a slight buff to impact. Pulse rifles. The low rate of fire high impact class is getting a slight buff to damage. Hand cannons. All hand cannons are getting a buff to reserve ammo. Fusion rifles. Fusion rifles are getting a stability increase, which means less kick and tighter grouping for those bolts. Sniper Rifles! The low zoom scopes on sniper rifles like short gaze and ambush are getting a slight increase to their zoom, probably from about 4.5 to 5.5. To compensate for this, they are getting higher range. Also worth noting that Snapshot is getting nerfed by about a third, from 30% to 20%. They're also nerfing how quickly you aim down sights in general, so you might see an uptick in people using Snapshot. They're also nerfing the stability on sniper rifles so that you won't be able to get that double body shot as easily anymore. Sidearms! Sidearms got a slight nerf in that you cannot switch after respawning and keep the special ammo. The special ammo will disappear upon switching special weapons in the Crucible, as it always should have been. You will no longer be able to carry as much ammo for your sniper rifle, heavy machine gun, or shotgun. To compensate for this, there will be more special bricks and heavy bricks in PvE. All King's Fall weapons will now reload faster, Anguish of Dryston is getting a small stability buff, and Quillum's Terminus will have less reserve ammo. Thousand Yard Stair got a nerf, it will have less ammo in its inventory, that's in addition to the blanket nerf to Sniper's reserve ammo. Now, on to the exotic weapons. First up, Mita Multitool. Mita Multitool is having high caliber rounds removed. Next up, Suros Regime, otherwise known as Darth Vader's Ferrari. Because of the blanket increase to base damage for the Suros Regime's archetype, spinning up will happen four bullets later than it does now. They're also buffing Focus Fire. It now increases your range, which means that Suros Regime can actually max out its range. Hawkmoon. Hawkmoon is getting an increase to range, which means that it will be more likely to land that second headshot, and on top of that, it will not have as much damage fall off. The last word got nerfed. Its exotic perk will no longer give you as much damage when you're hip firing, which means that you can no longer get the two headshot kill. Thorn will no longer do as much damage from the damage over time poison effect. It also will only pulse four times instead of six and it will not be as green when hit, so you won't be blinding people with your ability. Icebreaker. Icebreaker is also still year one. Special ammo will disappear when switching from Icebreaker, so you cannot use it to just charge your special. You will have to actually go out and find special bricks. They also decreased the handling and increased the zoom. Dreg's Promise. The Dreg's Promise got a bit of a buff, the ammo now tracks as long as you are aimed down sights, kind of like a rocket launcher. So Dreg's Promise might actually be good now. Telesto got a slight buff, it now sticks to your teammates and teammates bubbles and will explode, but do no damage to your allies or your allies bubbles, so you can kinda stick your teammate and have him run in and the Telesto will explode around him, that sounds pretty cool. As you all know, the Warlocks are getting nerfed, however, the nerfs are not quite as bad as you would think. First up, the Sunsinger. 
Sunsinger's melee will now take longer to recharge, the flame shield will give you less shield, and if you're using the fireborn perk on radiance, your radiance will not last quite as long. That is all of the nerfs to Sunsinger. They will not nerf firebolt grenades or viking funeral. Next up, Stormcaller. Landfall will do less damage, it will not last quite as long, and the lightning will now drain your super, so you'll have to be a lot more conservative with your lightning. Finally, the Voidwalker. The Voidwalker has been finely tuned. The specifics, they said, would be in the patch notes. However, they did say they would put much more of a focus on the Voidwalker's energy drain and lifesteal abilities, so it'll be more of a vampire class. I think I know a guy who's going to be really happy about that. I'm excited to see the patch notes tomorrow to see what it'll really look like. That's all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.